The gadgets in James Bond films are the best the movie world has to offer. The difference between men and boys is the price of their toys. And once you've worked on a Bond, you've worked with the big boys. They push the limits of technological wizardry and stunt work like no one else. Forty divers are in the water fighting each other. I don't think that's ever been equal. You know, just a mass of humanity and machinery churning around in the ocean. When the lights go down in the theater, audiences always know they're about to see movie-making magic, thanks to the gadgets of James Bond. creating gadgets for the movies. One name sets the standard for delivering a combination of speed, cleverness, and cinema magic. James Bond. In more than 40 years of Bond films, the gadgets used by 007 have become as recognizable as the phrase, shake, not stir. Bond was sort of a Hugh Hefner sort of character who possessed everything the average male would want, all of the women at his disposal, unlimited expense accounts, and of course, every up-to-date amazing gadget uh, for his uh, personal use. Though these wonders of high-tech innovation often seem to push the envelope of credibility, any good Bond fan knows the gadgets used by Her Majesty's secret agent are often based more in fact than fiction. Most of the vehicles or gadgets you see in a James Bond film, automatically you'll think, oh, that's ridiculous, that can't be real. But actually, the case is they are created for the film or they have been something that may be about to appear on the market commercially and it's seen in the Bond film for the first time. So these things, no matter how fantastic they are, they're based on reality and they do actually work. For those who create the gadgets and stunts that are part of telling a Bond story, the experience